Nathan. I'm the CEO of Simple Story. We're a video marketing agency, so we do videos for business, we do live action, and we do animation. The company's been around for almost a decade now, and it was falling on some difficult times. Uh, so two years ago, I, I took over, and so I've been turning around the company from then. I love telling stories, uh, so really connecting with people. I, I, I really believe everybody has their own story. Everyone's got a story to tell. Everyone, the experiences that you have have positioned you in a unique way to solve a particular problem, to do a particular thing that no one else can. And I think that that's such a powerful thing. So being able to contribute to that, I've always been um, in the marketing field, uh, plus the, uh, just the, the, so it's a good balance between the creative world and more of like the scientific, um, you know, data and that kind of thing, and really merging those two things together. So being able to say, based on, you know, who you are, who your audience is, based on your story, what your skills are, how do we best frame that to connect with your audience? How do we best frame that to make sure that you're putting your best foot forward? And I think that that's such a, a powerful thing, I think, for companies, but then also on the individual level. Um, you know, it's just been great in connecting with people and then using the skill sets that, you know, you develop here um, and then applying that to like a greater conversation. I wasn't, I guess, always a leader in my career um, or I guess in a position of, you know, leading other people. Uh, so, I mean, growing up or through my career, definitely have had different experiences everywhere I've gone. There's been a lot of issues, um, you know, from just like microaggressions to, um, you know, more overt <laughs> name calling and things like that to, uh, you know, attacking culture and heritage and all of these types of things. So, I mean, everywhere I've gone, it's kind of been a place that I, I, I've had to deal with. And that, you know, goes back to even just school and just my experiences all along. Um, you know, it's not something that's unique to the workplace, but you have these workplace places that exist within a racist society. How can you expect the workplaces to be any different? Even though uh, most offices will say like, we're diverse or we like to be inclusive, we want to make everybody feel welcomed. If the dominant society isn't shaped like that, you know, to have the expectations that a, a company that's operating within that society and people within that society who work in that company are going to all of a sudden change once they enter into those doors is completely uh, crazy. Um, now being in the position that I'm, I'm in, um, it's been great to feel like it's a tr more inclusive environment and have people who are more considerate, who have people who are more mindful, um, you know, who, who kind of share and, and care about these types of things. I've, I've worked with people that, you know, you tell them you offended them and, and they just brush it off, right? Or it's just like, stop being so sensitive or it's not that bad. I didn't mean it like that. Um, now we're in an environment where it's like, listen, that's not okay to say that. And there's like, oh, wow, help me to understand why, help me to learn better. Um, so I think that that's such, such an empowering thing to, to see that for outside the environment, you know, still get some odd things where it's like I could be corresponding with somebody through email, um, then they come in to see me and it's like, can I talk to Nathan? Um, or it's like, can I talk to the CEO? It's like, yeah, I'm Nathan. And then it's like, oh, oh, you're so young. And it's just like, quit playing. <laughs> like, there's tons of people who are out here just as young as I am who are, who are doing things. Um, that's not really what you're taken aback by. Um, so I mean those types of things happen all the time or like being at a conference where just talking to somebody and, and telling them about the business and you know they could just be like looking past me like uh-huh yeah okay uh-huh and then it's like they'll get the card or we we'll do the exchange and they'll be like Oh, and like, you know, their posture changes, they start looking at me more, they're more engaged in the conversation. So I mean, there's still a lot of that that it experiences. The way I always see it is like, if we're playing ball, my goal is to get the ball in the net, right? And so either way, I'm just trying to get the thing in the net. 
the whole world or all these barriers that exist are just the different defense that, that that's there that are trying to stop me. It doesn't change what my goal is, but it has to change my offensive strategy, right? So now I'm going to have to try and, you know what I mean, cross you over. I'm going to have to roll. I'm going to have to, you know, try all these different things on how do I get around you? It's not impossible now for me to get the ball in the hoop, but it's more difficult and I just need to switch up my game on how to how to do that. So, you know, that is my biggest thing where I see a lot of people get down and out because of oppression or because of systemic racism or because they don't have the connections or they don't have this and that. These are all just obstacles. None of these things are defining whether you are actually able to do it or not. Um, and so I think just having that mentality changes everything. Coming up now, uh, what I really want to put a lot of my energy into is connecting people in the black community. Um, I find that here we're really dispersed all over the place um, and there's different pockets of people doing different things. But I think that there's a big opportunity now that the whole business community is listening to black people and they're just like, OK, we want to do something. We care about this stuff. We want to be invested. Um, and just kind of organizing and orchestrating it all so that we can be like, here's what we need and just have those different connections. So I think I have people on the corporate side who really want to be allies and really are trying to get involved. Um, so now just seeing, is there something that we can do uh, to help provide better mentorship for the young? Is there something that we can do to provide training to help you know, uh, workers turn into managers and directors? How do we do um, get involved in, in uh, executive placement and board placements? How do we help black startups with funding, getting them access to all the different services in the cities that exist? How do we get them networked to all the angel investors and the VCs that exist? That is a old boys club, right? That we might not have connections to. So it's all right, if we have all these people at the table, we can bring all of these voices together. So right now I've just honestly been reaching out to random black people that's just like oh i see you doing things i don't know you let me connect with you let me have a conversation with you what are you up to what are your interests and just seeing where we can make those connections because like i said maybe there's this person over here who's interested in you know starting their business this person over here knows the right people who give funding to startups or have access to the people at you know bdo or edc to to help get you some funding in those programs and just bringing that all together where it's like there's right now i just see there's such opportunity in the black community for us to provide that network to provide that community and and pa pass down information pass down connections and networks because right now you know me coming in it was just me going out there shaking all these hands so if i can shortcut that experience and being like look i had to meet 300 people to know this right person now i can just give you that right person without you having to do all that legwork yourself so i'm really trying to see what can i do how do i bridge that gap between the corporate world and the black community. Some people ask me that it's like, oh, you feel nice being a black CEO or like one of a few or whatever. It's like, it doesn't make me feel nice at all. It makes me feel like <laughs> terrible. You know what I mean? Like I hate walking into a networking event and I'm the only one there. I hate when I'm in a boardroom and I'm the only one there. I want to be able to no, you're telling me who else you have for this series. I don't want to know who everybody you named was, right? Like I want there to be surprises of people out there that I don't know. But it's like, no, I know all of these people. Um, and so I want to have more of that. So for me now, I'm trying to use my platform, use my voice to make sure that it's inspiring enough people to, to, to want to do better as they're growing into this. How do we get more people... Um, who are you know working in professional careers but are struggling to kind of scale up their careers into management and director um, how do we get more black people on boards and executive roles how do we get more black startups what's the funding how do we get them networking with each other and just create more of that that community because i think it's it's such an important thing and there is such a lack of representation in the corporate world right whether it's the tech sector you know creative sector all of these different things like the representation is just not there so i'm trying to be 
as loud, as bold as I can be with sharing my story and being visible, just so people can say like, oh, that is a space for me, that is a safe spot, and then people will follow behind that. I don't wanna just open a few doors, I'm trying to knock down the whole wall so people are just feel like I can be anything, I can do anything, because growing up that definitely wasn't the mentality of all of my friends and stuff. Like. You know, there were certain lanes that were pre-designed for us. Um, and now, you know, even with the 20-somethings, I'm seeing a lot of that change where people are getting into different fields that, you know, people in my age group weren't getting into. Um, so it's exciting just to see all of that happening. But I want to see more representation at every level, um, startups and government, tech. You know, I just want to go anywhere, go into any room and being like, I see you. <laughs>